situation was becoming serious. Young Renton noticed the haste with which the successful in the sexual sphere, as in all others, segregated themselves from the failures. Heroin had robbed Renton of his sex drive, but now it returned with a vengeance. And as the impotence of those days faded into memory, grim desperation took a hold in his sex-crazed mind. His post-junk libido, fueled by alcohol and amphetamine, taunted him remorselessly with his own unsatisfied desire. Dot, dot, dot. had fallen in love. Excuse me, excuse me, I don't mean to rush you, but I was very impressed with the capable and stylish manner which you dealt with that situation. And I was thinking to myself, now this girl's special. Thanks. What's your name? Diane. Where are you going, Diane? I'm going home. What was that? It's where they live. Great. What? Well, I'll come back with you if you like, but, like, I'm not promising anything, you know? Do you find that this approach usually works? Or let me guess, you've never tried it before. In fact, you don't normally approach girls, am I right? The truth is that you're a quiet, sensitive type, but if I'm prepared to take a chance, I might just get to know the inner you. Witty, adventurous, passionate, loving, loyal. Taxi! A little bit crazy, a little bit bad, but hey, don't us girls just love that. Hey. Well, what's wrong, boy? You can't got your tongue. No, I left something. You getting in a nightclub? 